video, I am going to tell you how to use graphical format of Galileo. So technically, we would be just using one single command to load the fares. Otherwise, we would be using completely the graphical format to book a seat in Galileo to add whatever services we want to add and to load the fares as well. So let's first search the fares using the flight shopping tool of Galileo. So I am going to search for a routing from Delhi to Toronto and return as well from Toronto to Delhi. Let's make a booking for July maybe and let's book the return after one month which is for example 17th of August so I have made it Delhi to Toronto Toronto to Delhi I am making it multi airport etc and I'm not giving any time preference I will let system give me all the possible options so on the right hand side my fares have been displayed the lowest fare I am getting is 95,223 Indian rupees if I do MD I will get more options for the fares. So the next fare I am getting is 96765, which is by uh, Swiss Airlines and Air Canada. Then I, the third fare I'm getting is 99, etc. I'm getting pricing option 5 as well, 6, 2. And then similarly, we can use MD command and go to the last page. Once we are done, we can do FS star. Just click on FS star and you would reach to the first pricing option. So the first pricing option I'm liking, which is 95,000 rupees. So I click on FSK1 to hold this fare. So once I am holding this fare, I will just go to the PNR tab, which is on the top of the screen. I click here, create edit customer information. When I click here, create edit customer information, I get the dialog box. So here I can add list of passengers. Suppose I'm holding my PNR for, for example, Miss Sarosh. Last name is Kinger, and for example, it's adult. So I type adult. Though it is a free flow text, you can type whatever you want to write. So I'm holding it for one passenger, for example. Loyalty is not mandatory. The fields mark with red star are mandatory. Loyalty means the frequent flyer card. If the passenger is holding the frequent flyer card, that can also be added from here. Then we move to the another mandatory element, which is phone element. So here I add the phone element. For example, it's home contact number. The city code is Delhi. And the contact number, I am typing my contact number. So I click on apply. If you wish to write email ID as well, we can just select from here to, so I type here my email ID. That's it. I click on apply. After this, you can type in address also in case you want the customer address, the delivery address, though it's optional as it is not marked with red. Then we can add ticketing element. We click on the plus sign. To add the ticketing element, if you wish to put the time limit, you want to take action on the PNR later on, you can choose the TL, which is the time limit. If you don't want to put a time limit, you can use the first option and click on apply. The payment is mandatory. Here you can add form of payment at how client is going to pay you. So I type here cash, for example, I click on apply. Other fields are not mandatory, so they can be added later on as well. So I click on save here. And if you see my PNR is displayed on the right hand side. Now I can do reference and just save my PNR with ER command. So once I save my PNR, my booking, my seat is on hold now. You can see all the data which you inserted in the PNR. You can click on star all and display all the data. My vendor locator is there. I have received some vendor remarks also, which you can add whenever you like to add. So I have my phone element, my form of payment, etc. Now we need to load down the fares. So to load down the fares, as we had already chosen the fare from fare shopping tool, so I can just use FQ command to hold the fare, which will hold the lowest fare possible because we had already chosen the fare first and then we made the PNR. So we need to save this fare. So I do reference again and we save this PNR. If you see here, 
we have received star FF, which means my fares also have been loaded. And by clicking on star FF, I can see my fare. Okay, coming to the optional PNR information, in case I want to add optional PNR information in the PNR, I can add that as well in the graphic format. So I go to create edit booking file remarks in case I want to add remarks in case of special services like OSI and SSR. I can click on this and add those as well. So SSR type we choose, for example, the meal code. So the first segment selected is Delhi to Zurich. So you can write the meal code here in case you remember the meal codes or you can click on this. Suppose I want Asian wedge meal, the passenger wants Asian wedge meal on this routing. You can click here, you can click on add. So my AVML, which is Asian wedge meal is uh, added, requested for Delhi to Zurich for, for example, Zurich to Toronto. The passenger has a requirement of another meal. You can choose the other meal as well. For example, the requirement is of fruit platter meal. So I add that. So you can add with whatever you wish to add from SSRs. Suppose there is a requirement of wheelchair also, you can just select the wheelchair. As you know, we have number of options for the wheelchair. We can do that as well. Wheelchair required on board. So you can click on add. So you don't need to remember any commands to make a reservation. So I click on save. So I've added my SSR information also. In case you wish to add the OSI information, in the same tab, the OSI information can be added here. So we type here OSI and we type here vendor code and that information can be added here as well. So we click on cancel from here and we go to the remarks section, which is booking file remarks. In case you have any remarks which you wish to write, we can write here. So if you have a customer ID number, it could be your travel company customer ID which you have assigned we can add that as well if you have other IDs you can add that as well so in case you wish to write some remarks you can add some remarks also here so you want to add seat segments the seat segments also can be requested from here in case your seat map opens up otherwise you can always request for the seats too so it shows error here, as I mentioned in my previous sessions also. Most of the time it shows error in the seat map, but automatically another map opens, which is a mini kind of uh, map from where we can request for the seats as well. So we click on this, it's still gathering the information. The system takes some time when uh, we try to book seats. So you may ask system to take the time and then you can select the seat of your choice. So here I get the option of aisle or a window seat from Delhi to Zurich. If you want to copy to all these segments, you can copy to all the segment. We copy to all these segments from here and we click on apply. So we have requested seats. We are unable to uh, open the seat map. But we have requested for the seat. So in case you wish to save the information, you can save this information and move ahead. So we have got star SI detail also in the PNR, which means there is a data related to service information which exists in the PNR. So when I click on star SI, I get the details. If you have saved your seat data, that would reflect in star SD. So you can just click on star SD and you get the data for the seat also. So here you have the seat data as well. So technically, we don't need to use more commands. We just do the reference and save command to save the PNR. And for the fare command, we just use one fare command to save the fare. So if you wish to sell the seat without the fare shopping tool, that also you can do from the graphical mode of Galileo. So you need not use any commands. So once you have your reservation in front of you, you can just click on the icons to get more detail. If you click on the airline number, you get detail of the airline, what meal airline is serving, from which terminal it is departing, etc. When you click on the city pair, you get the name of the airports. When you click on the HK, which shows you the status of your airline. When you click on this E, you get the list of interline electronic ticketing table. It means the agreements 
this particular airline is holding with other airlines. If you click on the name of the passenger, you get the graphical mode back in case you wish to edit any information related to the customer. And these tabs which are open, which you can see are the tabs which would display information. If you click on start all, you get the complete information. If you just click on start P, you get information only of the phone number. If you click on star FOP, it shows you the information only of form of payment. Similarly, star TD will show you information of only the ticketing data which you inserted. You make other fields disable and if you click on the icon, the only enable field data would show. So when I click on star FF only, so I get the data only for star FF field, which means the fair field. So you have saved entire information. You have made the PNR, you have saved fares, you have saved the entire information in GDS Galileo in not more than two to three minutes. So this is how fast the GDS system is. So GDS systems are very, very fast in case you know how to operate them. You can use the command method. You may even use the graphical method, whichever format is comfortable to you. There are hardly any commands required to issue the ticket now. So for issuing the ticket, you may see our previous videos and you would get an idea on how to issue the ticket.